Hello guys, today we are going to find out what are the new features in the new update that is the Android Pie update and I received this update 2 to 3 days earlier in my SU Zenfone Max M2 and we are doing this video to cover all the features in the new update first of all there are 7 features in the update so guys watch till the end of the video to cover all the updates so guys the first main feature about the new update is a new notification tray and as you can see it is a new fully revised notification tray with new icons for the Wi-Fi toggles etc uh, it is also round in shape and it is all new and the brightness toggle is also uh, new and here also you can edit all the toggles like in the other uh, version of the Android and there is also an option to see whether your uh, phone is in silent mode or not and if we go back into the notification tray uh, you can see there is a mode called invert color mode where you can invert all the colors in the screen and all the colors will turn opposite to each other and here I will disable the that mode and as you can see uh, the notifications are also in a square like shape and this is the new uh, notification tray so that's about the notification tray so the next new feature about the new Pi update is the new volume animations so as you guys can see uh, now the volume animation appears on the right side of the screen rather than the top and there are also a few handy options where you can access the sound settings directly from the uh, volume animation and uh, there is also another feature as you can see I am toggling it off this is this is called uh, where you can put your phone in vibratory mode or in silent mode etc where you can directly control it from the volume key itself so that's a handy feature that you get with the new animation so you guys might have been thinking why I was not talking about the new navigation buttons of the new Pi update so here it is so if we go into settings and if we take uh, the gestures you can see there are an option where you can swipe up to get into home screen and if I enable disable that uh, you get the normal navigation buttons uh, it is different from the Oreo version where the Oreo version was just hollow in this version the home button everything is filled or shaded as you can tell so if I go back into the settings uh, if I dis uh, enable that swipe up to home screen uh, feature the good thing about this feature is that you can swipe up one or you can swipe one swipe one time to go to the multitasking window and again swipe to go to the uh, app drawer and you can also scroll like this to switch between apps simultaneously and that's a new feature uh, this android pi update comes with it's very fluid and also there is the back button uh, which comes only when we are inside an app or something so that's a great feature to have guys i always recommend you to enable a feature known as the accessibility shortcut button uh, which comes on the navigation keys as you can see there it can be uh, turned on by going into the accessibility settings and as you can see in the screen by turning it turn like that as you can see I am turning it off now so the icon over there has gone and now it has come back and that is the accessibility shortcut and from this accessibility shortcut you guys can access all the features such as volume up volume down screenshot uh, power button settings etc all the features you can access from here so actually uh, this is a nice feature to have and you should always enable it this update also fixed the notch issue uh, so actually the notch issue was that the notch area was not getting covered while playing a video if we zoom to fill that video in the screen 
so actually this update have cleared that issue and I will show you a demo here by playing a video actually it was a bit annoying uh, in the or you update now the pi update has fixed that issue so as you can see in the screen I am playing a video and if I zoom to fill uh, the notch area the uh, area on the left side and right side of the notch is getting covered earlier uh, it was not covered and black bars were there on the on that area so that was also a fix that comes with the this pi update also brought changes in the settings menu and now the settings have an all new layout with new colorful icons and different categories for mobile data wi-fi etc and now bluetooth is under connected devices category and uh, it's handy that it is in a new category and if we go down you can see there are different options Every, everything is sorted out this is display and all the display features are present in it and that's a nice thing and if we got into the about the device and if we go into about the phone and uh, you can see that this is the new pi update logo and this is how you can zoom in and zoom out and that's it about the new settings feature so with this update the camera department has also been improved so if I take the camera you can see that the saturation of the camera have have been improved significantly and I will show you it by taking a sample shot <coughs> So I will turn it to the rear facing camera and if I take an object in front of it and I will take a photo of it. The shutter speed is still show, slow, it's not fast, it's, it's only like the earlier shutter speed and as you can see the image is more saturated and more brighter than the earlier images that were taken when the device was in android oreo and that's about the new such rate so guys these are some of the sample shots that i have taken with the new software update and as you can see it is more vivid more saturated and bright so that's it guys thanks for watching please hit on the like button if you liked our video and subscribe our channel for getting the future uploads.